Hi, I'm John Romer here at Arizona Fly Fishing. I'm going to show you how I tie a diamond hair streamer. The diamond hair streamer is a pattern I developed for saltwater. Actually, it was developed for a friend of mine down in the Baja who was uh, after yellowfin tuna. And what the tuna were doing, the tuna were coming up and they were busting the balls of bait fish. And then they were, the, the big ones were down below were eating the bait fish that were just filtering down to the bottom. So the bait fish patterns he was using had lead eyes and they were, they were nose diving. They were going up and down a lot. So I developed this fly to imitate drifting bait fish that are down. I'm using uh, an SC-15 Gamagatsu hook. It's a short shank, very good, uh, very good strong hook using white 6 aught thread. Just attach it right behind the eye of the hook. I'm using a rotating vise and I'm going to start on the bottom first. The entire fly is tied out of Arizona Diamond Hair. It's a material I, I make that's, I've got it in about, gosh, I think about 40 colors now. And it's a, it's a very flashy, totally synthetic material. You simply Pull out a pinch, roll it between your fingers and thumb till you form a clump like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the bottom. I'm going to tie this. My, material, my thread is right behind the eye of the hook. I'm going to lay this material right there. Give it one, two, three wraps. Fold it back over itself. two, three wraps again. Now that is the bottom of the fly. If you have any, any extra long pieces, just cut them off, save them, you can use them on the next one. Okay, I then, I turn it over then, and I start to work on the top of the fly. Now, on the bottom of the fly, I always put the lightest color. And of course, on the top of the fly is always the darkest color. So, that would be my next. I'm gonna use a peacock or, a, or an olive color. It's a pretty much a generic olive brown color that works good for a lot of for the tops of a lot of bait fish patterns. The beauty of this stuff is I've got so many different colors that you can you can imitate specific bait fish using specific colors. So there's my uh, there's the top of my fly. I have it ready, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put it right behind the eye of the hook. Three wraps: one, two, three. Fold this back over the top and tie it down again. Two, three. I then bring my thread back behind what I just tied in. And I'll tie in my next clump. Depending on what kind of bait fish pattern you're imitating, you can use those specific colors. I like to use a, uh, a silk, it's a shad color I, I made up. It's got a lot of different colors in it, but it's basically silver and, and olive and, and uh, golds and a lot of different colors of shad. Now some of these fibers may be a little bit longer than others. That's just the material, the way the material is. So if you're going to do that, just go ahead and cut it off and pull out some of the fibers. Just pull them out, tease them out a little bit. You want this, you don't want these things to look like they're cut square ends. Okay, that's going to be my second layer from the top. I'll do the same thing. One, two, three. Fold it back over itself. Three wraps will hold this thing to where you want it. Now you can start to see how the fly is starting to take shape. I then go to another color of a little bit lighter silver. This is what I call silver hollow. You can use, you can use Lots of different colors. There's so many different options you can use with this thing. And you can make different shapes. You can make long, thin bait fish. You can make tall bait fish just by adding clumps on top and making them larger clumps like a bluegill. Okay, there's my third layer. It's a little unruly. It takes a little while to get used to it. But once you get used to it, it's very simple as you can see. Now this is going to be my final clump. I then put on the same color I put on initially. I'm 
this one I don't have to fold back over itself because everything's going to be pulled back anyway. At this point, to tie it off, I just use five second fingernail glue. Just add a little pinch right there and that'll hold everything very solid. Wait four or five seconds, cut it off. There is your, all the material is tied in now. Now what I do now is I separate the fibers. It's really easy to do because the top is the darkest fiber, the bottom is the, is the lightest fiber. So it's very easy to separate. You simply fold it back over itself. Being careful not to get this stuff on your fingers. Now the bottom, what I do is I take it and I separate and go around the hook just like that and and I take the glue and I coat it right to the hook shank what this does is it makes all the material up on top of the hook shank and that's that's makes it much less vulnerable to fouling because I don't care what kind of streamer you're making. Seems like always the problem is fouling hooks. The material will wrap around the hook shank. That's one reason why I use, use a short hook shank too. Okay, you can see how it's already hooked. It's already started to set up. I turn it over. And now I make the, do the same thing with the top. Now, <clears throat> depending on what kind of bait fish you're trying to imitate, you can hold it back, make it slim. You can pooch it up a little bit like a shad or a sardina. Coat it. You don't need to put too much on there. If you put too much on there, it takes forever to dry. So just hold it there and let it set up for just a minute. Okay. I use 3D molded eyes. You could use just about anything you wanted, but these are the most realistic that I've found. And I like to use uh, silver, gold, yellow, whatever. I, they seem to really like the gold. Apply them with a small tweezer. Here's my eyes. Now, I take a bigger set of tweezers and I pinch it down and I hold it there. Just hold it there for five, six seconds. Then I go back and I recoat it. I put daubs between on top of it and let it filter down behind the eyes. All around it. You can take it and coat it over here on these sides. What this is going to do is it's going to firm that body up and make it very durable. You'd be amazed how many fish you can catch with one fly. The eyes are very, very important. We found a lot of times with different, different fish that we're going for, if you lose an eye, they won't eat it. So there's a finished diamond hair streamer. Now let's see, let's see what it looks like in the water. <clears throat> 